fourth yeah. grade. I got a lot of brand news. But Just so you know, everyone wants to be in my class. YouTube are very lucky. <laughs> but, um, I was really glad you made it the second year. You're one of those. Sometimes I really, really pull for certain kids to make it, you know, the second year. And just like you saw this year, how certain ones came up and they just like outshone people after they weren't that great, you know, the year before because they really, really wanted it. So I appreciate your perseverance and how you set your mind to it. And you were like, no, I'm going to do this. And, you know, and this is where I want to be. And this is where my friends are. And really stuck to it. You better keep that attitude because they'll get you to college someday, okay? You can go. You can do it. First of all, Vicky and your bees are still in my dress. <laughs> <laughs> so glad you're here. Okay, the gentleman. Hello. Chuck, I really appreciate that you said um, that you just want to do dog squad so you can hang out with me. So, <laughs> so, I thought that was sweet when you said that. I was like, aww. I feel a lot too, Chuck. You're almost a veteran. And uh, so I always appreciate how you were very upbeat about everything. And you were super funny when I had you in class. One of my favorites. Very, it was hard to let you go at the end of the year. And Alex, I wish I'd had you. You were always very like, respectful. You always listened to me whenever I had you for anything in class. You were always you know, spot on. I'm super glad you went out with us. Yeah, you guys are the captains, right? No, I'm here over here. Huh. Oh, no, that is going to be good. I'll try. It's always especially hard for me to say goodbye to my captains. I'm very, very close to my captains. It happened to be... Do you need to get this? Are you recording this? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it happened to be that the one year I had, like, Isabel and Christian, who I was super close to, right? So I had them in my class, and then I ended up having them as captains. Right, or as a cheer. I mean, I, I know, I always thought of Kristen as like another captain too, because she was always, you know, very reliable and everything. And then, so I was like super sad about losing Isabella and Kristen. And then I got Aaron and Alyssa, so I was almost like, okay, that makes me feel a lot better about having to lose them because I had the two of you and kind of make up for that. And, you know, I always knew you had it in you that you were going to be leaders and then, you know, that you were going to be able to take us to first place and everything. So, Aaron. <laughs> I, I just want you to know that one of the texts you sent me, I um, put on lock, and I never wanted to erase it because it made me feel so good about how you said uh, some very sweet things about how much I meant to you and everything. So you mean a lot to me, too. And I hope you know that I'm always here. I'm not going anywhere, and you have my, you know, phone anyway, so if you need anything, you know, you just go ahead and you text me. I'll come and get you. I'll, you know, listen to you whenever you need, okay? Forget. And you remember You've got a lot of good leadership qualities, and you better always hang on to that. Be a good leader, okay? And Alyssa. <laughs> Gotta be honest, uh, a soft spot because you remind me a lot of Lorraine. There's a lot of Lorraine that I see in you. So, destined for some greatness there, too. <laughs> so, always positive, always, even if uh, it was not so good, you know, to have to be a leader sometimes, you stepped up and did it. Took care of it. Possible. So you're both outstanding leaders. Led us to first place, right? Kept this team together. Put aside differences that maybe occurred or drama can happen. To always put the good of the team first. Okay, that's super important. Yeah. You don't even know how far that's going to take you. Okay. From someone who's been through it, right? That's going to get you so much further in life than you can imagine. You know, you're both. And then when we were like, had to I expect nothing but great things. And, then, and I expect invitations to wedding showers, baby showers, <laughs> college acceptance <laughs> letters, and all that kind of stuff. So not until all that. So not like, until yeah, 40, Miss Dell. Not until 40. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> baby showers are not until 40. <laughs> college acceptance letter, wedding shower, <laughs> wedding invitation, <laughs> baby shower. <laughs> all of <laughs> Thank you for winning up. Yes, and Sharon, her so um, it's been quite, quite a journey for us this year. Um, you know, I can't. It's hard for so I spot every year. Oh boy, I thought I was gonna get through this without crying. Um, yesterday was very, very emotional. I don't know if you guys even know. <laughs> After yesterday's tryouts, but there's always that feeling that it's both the best and the worst day of the cheer year to me. 
because there's always all that excitement because you see all their faces, right? How happy they are, right? Do you remember that feeling when I called your name? Yeah. It was like, oh my God, it was a little like euphoria, right? It was hilarious. It's like the best feeling, right? Your name gets called, you get to run up the stage. I'm like super happy for them, right? Because they're like ecstatic. But then it's always, they're replacing my squad that's leaving. And we have to do this to replace my squad that's leaving. And I'm so close to this year's squad. I spend so much time with you guys. And we're always together, right? I mean, best parties, best everything, right? We're all together everywhere in the district. Meeting, you know, people, being on the news, being, going to game shows. All kinds of things. We're always together. It's hard for me to replace you. But it's what has to happen, you know. Remember what I said last year to the sixth graders? I said we've got to just uh, not cry because it's over, but smile because it happened. Eventually, that's oh, yeah. You know, at least we'll always have this, right? No matter where you go in life, just remember, you know, every new beginning has to come from some other beginning end, right? Something has to end. Everybody who's new is a girl. You know, this is just the end of one thing. We've got lots and lots of happy beginnings left. You're going to love middle school no matter where you go. Two months in, you're going to be like, oh, what was Burbank again? Oh, no. <laughs> because you're going to be so busy and involved in your new life, and you're always all going to be friends. Don't even think that, oh, different we're going to different, different schools or we're doing different things. You're going to stay friends. I'm still friends with people that I'm in school with. Really? Hmm? Yeah, I'm still hanging out with people. You know, the ones who are meant to be your friends, they should be your friends. No matter how old you get. So, you know, just be glad that we got to, you know, got to be part of the elite squad, right? How many people wanted that yesterday, right? <laughs> so, uh, Monday's hard. To hand over those pom poms. Yeah. Monday is very hard. Hand over the megaphones to know that you're, you know, passing on the torch to someone else. But you know, we had a great, great year or two years, right? Two year members. You know, haven't had a first place trophy in a long time, so thank you so much for that. <laughs> Nothing like being first. So, a few years. It's been a while since I've first. Two years. Uh, three. 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 Three.